Hello. So today my debate topic is whether or not stealing a CD inside of a store is the same as pirating music online by downloading it. And my belief is that they are different. So to start, um, my first reason why I believe it's different is because when you go into a store and buy a CD, you're getting a physical item versus downloading music online and buying it, you're only getting the music. So I think stealing a CD in a store, it's much more personal and much more thought out beforehand and much more planned than it just downloading music online due to the fact that downloading music online is much easier and much more convenient than just um, stealing a CD in a store. Um, it's, in my opinion, comparable to um, if you were to reach over the counter and take a $20 bill out of a cash register versus just picking up a $20 bill off the street. Both can be considered stealing, but the picking up a $20 bill off the street isn't as bad in my eyes as taking money out of a register. Um, furthermore, I think that... Um, like when you buy a CD, not only are you getting the song like you do when you buy music online, but you also are getting a, the actual physical CD. So when you steal the CD, not only are you stealing the music, but you also are stealing like a physical item. So it's it's much more loss for not only a company but also for the artist because somebody has to pay back for the the cost of the CD and also for the music. Um, um, another thing is that when you are online, there's no easy way to sample and demo music like there is if you were to go into a CD store and you're able to pre-listen to the CDs before you buy them. Online, some songs you just aren't able to. And so... Um, the only way to demo them would be to download and pirate them beforehand before you buy them. So um, even though if you only were to listen to it once, it's still the same charge as if you were to listen to it a hundred times. Um, another thing is that some people aren't able to afford music, so they have to pirate it online if they want to listen to music. And it's much more of a morally gray area to pirate online than it is to just go into a store and steal a CD. And it's, um, it's also just much easier to get caught if you were to steal inside of a store, especially for somebody who isn't able to afford, um, afford like music like that. Um, another thing is that with, music online and downloading it a lot of artists are exclusively online and downloading music and spreading it around can help to spread their name around and get them more popular and get them more people to buy their music and um support that artist even if the initial download was um pirated you're able to spread the content around and help the artist get a bigger name. Um, another thing is that all around the world, there's different music and different cultures and different geographical locations. And there's a lot of different streaming sites for different songs and stuff, but no one streaming site has all the songs. And so you're not able to easily pay for all, all like all the songs on one platform and so for a lot of people in certain like geographical locations their only medium to get songs from different countries is to pirate them and it's it's the only way for them to like get different cultures and geographic geographical you know boundaries um songs and it allows them to spread different messages and beliefs, and it's a way to easily express their creative individualness. Um, 
another thing is that um, with there not being any one app application like to have all of your music on, um, for people, it's a lot more convenient to have all their songs in one place, which not only can you not do with um, with CDs, you also can't really do that very well with um, the on like online because even if you um, even if you have like Spotify or some other music platform, not all songs are going to be on it. So you're going to be you're going to have to um, download songs without the artist's permission if you want to have them in all in the same spot. Um, another thing is that uh, most of the time, the songs that are going to be downloaded online, they're going to be from bigger artists. Even if it is like pirating, it doesn't affect bigger artists all that much because they get most of their revenue and money from different things like merchandise and from concert tickets and things like that. So it doesn't, an individual pirating their song doesn't affect them as much as, um, as it would like a smaller artist. And so while it does affect smaller artists, some, again, it does spread their, um, their like image around and allow people to find the artist. And even with bigger artists, it can spread their image. And if people who didn't even know about a celebrity before that they learned about a song, then afterwards they might buy merchandise or concert tickets and a celebrity will make even more money than they would have beforehand had they just only like only had the person able to buy a song. And if the person wasn't able to buy the song or they just didn't want to, then they wouldn't have been able to spread their message around at all to begin with.